daycare Chevy. It's Britt's birthday today. It's my birthday. Say happy birthday. So I didn't film a couple of days this weekend. Yesterday we went to Thermia Nordic Spa again. Uh, today we've got doctor's appointments on her birthday for Theo and for me, and she's got a chiropractor appointment. We're just dropping Chevy off at daycare for the day. Hey! You excited? Who's shy all of a sudden? He's always so excited until we get here. Then he's shy. Come here, Chef. <laughs> okay, Chef, come. Here, I'll take him in. Come on, Chef. Come with mommy. <laughs> Every time. And who do we got back here? Hey. Hi. Are we going to go see the doctor? Yeah. Yeah? You excited? Daddy's got to see the doctor, too. We see the same doctor at the same time. Isn't that cool? Okay. Yeah. He's gonna check you to make sure that everything's good. Yours is more important than mine. You're always more important to me. <laughs> he was excited once we got in there. Okay. Every time we bring Chevy, he's so excited until we get here and then suddenly he's all, oh, I'm shy. He's a ball of mixed emotion. <laughs> a fluffy ball. Okay, you gotta let daddy's finger go. I gotta go drive the car. Hey. 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 Just give me a minute. He's got the, the baby grip. Theo, we gotta go to mommy's chiropractor. She needs a crack a lot. There we go. There we go. Don't eat your blanket. Okay, that's not food. That's not food. Okay. the gift to myself chiropractor visit it's been a couple years i'm old now 34 i mean 25 you're 25 again 25 yeah for the ninth time and counting so our doctor is in winnipeg so we've got to go to her chiropractor first and then theo's doctor appointment and then my doctor appointment which is the same doctor at the same time so much. we all just go in as a family yeah then after our doctor's appointment we have a date at Costco. Getting a membership. It's a big day for us. I know. I've wanted one for so long. We've been talking about it for years. We don't have a Costco near us in our town where we live, so we always got to go to Winnipeg to, to go to Costco. Probably the closest one would be Transcona on the east side of Winnipeg. But uh, well, we're going to the Keniston one to meet my stepmom, Sin. Yeah, she's going to give us the lowdown. She's going to give us a referral, too. I think you get referral. Costco money for it. I'll take it. Yeah. Well, I think she gets the Costco money, but either way, family money, you know? We're excited. We come from family money, Costco <laughs> money. Family money. $50. We have a referral. I don't even know how much We it is. demand our Costco bucks. <laughs> I have a referral. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I'm walking there all Ron Burgundy. <laughs> we should have put a bow tie on. Why do we always talk about putting bow ties on you and the dogs and then we never do it? Now we have a baby that we can put a bow tie on and we never do it. We need to get bow ties for him. <sighs> baby bow ties. You haven't lived until you've worn a bow tie, really. Or put your husband in one. And your dogs and children. Facts. What did you do, Diesel? What did you do? What's mom doing right now? He over there. Disc, disc. Did you eat on the gazebo even as I told him not to before I even started? You know better than that, Diesel. Ooh. I am so sorry. So sorry. I'm so sorry that I got caught. At least you're honest. This is our gazebo that we got. Uh, it's actually Britt's uh, dad and stepmom that gifted it to us. And Diesel likes to mark the back corner here, which is not very nice. And we got this goofball. <laughs> we cut down our apple tree finally. 
when we set up this gazebo. Did I tell you that already, or did I show you? So when we set this thing up, uh, well, we got all these power lines that go over our backyard, right? And this thing had grown up into these here, and it died. So before we set this up, we cut that down so it wouldn't fall on it. Good one, Chev. But we left that as a pee stump. However, Diesel would rather pee on the gazebo than on his very own pee stump. Where'd it go, Chef? Oh, she's so sneaky. And he's gone. How you doing, Frank? How you doing? What year is it? Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? He's getting really old. Really old. Need to cut this lawn again. So we've got another dead tree back here. This is one that I'm more concerned about because it's huge. I'm gonna have to get an arborist or a professional in here to cut this one down because of all the power lines. I've talked to one company who gave me a quote and they wanted $800 to come in here just to cut this one tree down. I got a quote from that same company to cut down all three of these. So we got these two big ones here that are doing pretty good still, but they're very tall and I don't want them to come crashing down on any of these houses here either. They, uh, get, they get beat up pretty bad in the wind that we have here. So they wanted $800 just for this thing. They wanted $3,000 to cut down these three. $1,000 per tree then. Does that sound normal to you guys? That sounded a little bit crazy to me. But like I said, we have all of these wires hanging over our yard, which is strange. Modern houses nowadays have all the wiring underground, but I guess this is part of the old, old way of doing things. And we just have wires all over the place. So I can't cut these trees down myself without taking out everybody's power. I'm probably electrocuting myself in the meantime. It's $3,000. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere cheaper, but I mean, I get it. It's not gonna be the easiest job. I'm gonna be repainting the house this year too because we've got issues with the paint peeling all over it. I tried to patch it up last year, but didn't quite do the trick. You can see it's, I don't know what kind of paint they used. Whatever it was, it was pretty cheap. You can sort of tell where I patched over it last year a little bit, so we gotta do a bit of a better job this year. And this paint that we got wasn't exactly, well, the color was perfectly matched, but this was more glossy than the regular paint. So you can obviously tell if you look at it in the right light where I patched it. So, very soon, I'm gonna be uh, trying to scrape as much of this paint off as I can, sanding it down and repainting it just on the bottom. Up there is still fine. That paint held for some reason, this paint didn't. It's all the way around the house like that. Look at this. The people before us obviously just painted over it too because you can tell, even where I didn't patch it, you can tell it's been patched before the paint. So someone at some point used the wrong paint on here and uh, now we've got to deal with it. So we keep this thing closed up to protect it from the rain and such. And here we got a nice little visiting area. So it's an older gazebo, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? I really like it. And you can obviously, we usually open up this whole thing, get some airflow through here. It's nice to be able to sit outside and not be eaten alive by mosquitoes. But the mosquitoes have not been bad this year. Like, how's it been where you guys are? Here, usually we're just getting eaten alive at this time of year by mosquitoes as soon as the sun goes down. But like, knock on wood, there's been no mosquitoes this year, like not one. It's been amazing. I don't know what happened. Did we spray or, but you know, I travel all around the region and I haven't really seen a whole bunch of mosquitoes anywhere, like even in Minnesota. In Minnesota and Manitoba, we share our, our state and provincial bird is the mosquito. I'm pretty good. But yeah, for uh, Britt's birthday went really well. I took her to Thermia on the weekend uh, and we she went for her chiropractor. 
appointment. We went to our doctor's appointments. All is well. Theo is 100% healthy. Uh, he's actually advanced for his age. The doctor said that four times, which was really encouraging and awesome to hear. And uh, everything other than that went well. We're going to head back on the road tomorrow. This is just a little update for you. Just hanging out at home. Getting stuff done. <laughs> you find your way in. Suddenly I see a nose poke up underneath there. <laughs> Diesel. Because Diesel, the door's over here. You can just walk in over there. Come here. Come on up here. Everybody misses seeing you. Yeah. Good boy. It was your birthday this month. Did you know that? Yes, you did. He's turning. How old are you turning? Twelve. He's turning twelve years old. Can you guys believe that? When I first started making videos here on YouTube, he was just a puppy. Brand new. You're as old as this channel is. It's pretty warm in here though. We should either open up these curtains or go inside in the air conditioning. What do you think? Should we go inside? <laughs> It's been a pretty cool July. I feel like we sort of got gypped out of summer a little bit. July is usually one of the hottest months of the year here in Manitoba, like really hot. It's felt like fall time, almost all of July. There's leaves all over our, our yard and our trees are losing their leaves because it's been so cool. It hasn't been like really cold, but I hear reports from, you know, the other, from Europe and stuff that they're just melting out there. That's just scorching temperatures. It's been pretty cool out here. I guess every year is just a little different. I mean, it's called the weather, right? It changes every now and then. August now is supposed to be really hot, so hopefully we'll get some good weather in. Hopefully, hoping to get some good beach days in yet. We'll see what happens. But I just wanted to update you just a little bit here. Uh, Chevy went to daycare, like I was telling you. Got a bunch of d things done, errands, running around. But we'll be back on the road in tomorrow's video. So just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you tomorrow.